In this video, I will challenge myself to draw 100 heads. I have given myself the task of being able to draw portraits faster, looser and more expressive. For that I thought the 100 heads challenge by Ahmed Alori would be a good way to learn this. You can find the link to his challenge in the info box. But in my case, I didn't set a time limit of 10 days and in the end I needed something around 30 days uh, to finish all 100 heads. I didn't want to put myself under time pressure, but rather learn to grasp proportions more quickly and to simplify the face in such a way that it still reminded me of the characteristics of the person I was drawing. Here I set myself a timer for each sketch to take only a maximum of 5 minutes, so that I can focus on the essentials and not to get lost in fine details. As you may notice, I also didn't use the given Pinterest board as a reference, but used my very own reference photos that I found on different platforms. So I modified the challenge to fit my own needs and ambitions. I just wanted to draw 100 heads, and that in a sketchy way, rather than fully worked out portrait drawings. At the beginning I had a hard time dealing with the task. It was unusual to try to draw a portrait loosely and often the proportions were wrong, or I forgot the time so I quickly scribbled the rest of the face. When I started the challenge it was still late summer and I could spend time outside on the balcony and get inspired by other artists, which is one of my favorite things to do during small breaks. The first portraits I drew quite classically with pencil, but after some time I wanted to try out other media, like this oil-based reddish pencil. I had some trouble with the application, because you had to press quite strongly and so drawing details was more difficult. At this point I broke off my pencil lead and tried to draw only with this little piece, which didn't work at all. For a short amount of time I switched to a fine liner, but this took much more time due to the cross hatching, so back to pencil. So I did 20 portraits today. I mean, like little sketches but still takes a lot of time and I'm super tired. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a little break, drink coffee.
As time went by, I noticed how it was becoming easier and easier for me to work quickly and to represent, for example, a shadow area of the face through individual lines without the tedious shading and layering for getting contrasts. I got a sense of capturing facial expressions with just a few strokes. I also didn't like the blue colored pencil and the charcoal that much. Especially with such small drawings, it was difficult to control them. So I kept coming back to the classic pencil. I noticed that I find faces with a lot of character more fascinating and that I particularly enjoyed drawing older people with a lot of wrinkles. Now that I've spent so much time with complete stranger faces, I wanted to draw people I admire and thus have a slightly more emotional connection to. Like Andy Warhol, Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet, Hilma F. Klint. Frida Kahlo, Gustav Klimt, Paul Gauguin, Henri Matisse, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Edouard Manet, De Kooning, Kandinsky, Freddie Mercury, Amy Winehouse, Bob Marley, Calypso Rose, John Lennon, Kurt Cobain, Ray Charles, Cecily Brown, Shirin Nishat, and many more. It was as well about time to shorten and cut my string of hearts, because it was already so long that it hung on the ground. I put the cuttings in water and when they root I usually put them back in the pot with the mother plant to make it fuller. In the meantime I tried drawing with water-based markers which was enormously difficult for me and required a completely different approach. So, again, back to pencil. In the end, I achieved exactly what I wanted. 
It was much easier for me to quickly capture a facial expression and the character of a person with purposefully placed clear and dynamic strokes. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.